Barakatay Yahweh, Barakatay Yahweh Shai, Kol Haloyim La Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Barachah Kodash, which means all praises to Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world only called Jesus Christ. Barachah Kodash means in the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, the only way to worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders of a great millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations. Um, to all you brothers preaching the gospel and truth and the sincerity, always in charity. This is Brother Mathati from the Great Millstone Camp, the branch on Des Moines. And I'm not sure what, what I'm entitled this lesson just yet, but um, we're just going to go into it. And Lord willing, I, I hope it's edifying. Now, this is the book of Matthew 11, verse 25. It says, At that time, Yahweh shall answer and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and has revealed them unto babes. Now, what is Yahweh shall saying here in this verse? He's saying that it wasn't revealed unto the wise men of that time, right? But revealed it unto what? Goes into, uh, we're going to look at the definition three, metaphorically childish, untaught, unskilled. You see? And that's what it's going into. So it wasn't revealed unto the wise men during that time. It was revealed unto the untaught, the unskilled during that time. And it's the same thing that's happening now, man. You see? So while you got all these people, uh, uh, so-called theologian, theologians, right, been to these different seminary schools and studied for years on end, you know, in order to understand these scriptures, the Lord is not dealing with these cats, right? Yahweh Shah himself has this up with you. And what happened with the Lord? Let's get that. See, they marveled at our Lord. This is the book of St. John 7. And 15 is the same way that they're marveling at us, right? And the Jews marveled saying, how knoweth this man let us having never learned, right? So Yahweh Shah himself would be considered what? A babe. According to uh, uh, um, that society during, uh, during that time, he was untaught and unskilled. And he would be looked at, the, he would be looked like that, or he would be looked at the same way if he was here on this earth today, the same way we are being looked at. Verse 16, Yahweh shall answer them and said, my doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of the most high or whether I speak of myself. And it's the same thing as us, right? Because going to the apostles, this is the book of Acts 4 and 13. It says, now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men. They marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Yahweh Shah. So it's the same way with us today, man. How learn? How know if these men all these things haven't never learned, right? Brothers going into herbs and and different uh, 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 workings of 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 of, of, um, of the body, right? The nervous system and different things. man. Brothers is smart, man. Intelligent, right? And the majority of brothers didn't go to college or, or or didn't graduate high school, right? But it's the spirit of Yahweh Shah that quickened us, man. And even though there are men that were called into this thing that that have uh, 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 degrees according to this society, that means nothing. Going to Paul, Paul would be considered learned during that time. He was raised under Gamaliel, right? He was a Pharisee, meaning he went to school and learned those different things. But what? He didn't know the way of the Lord until Yahweh Shah revealed himself unto him. And in Philippians, the third chapter, he said, all those things that I thought was a gain to me, I counted loss. For what? For this word. You see? And this shows the might of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shah. Let's get that in 1 Corinthians. It's 1 Corinthians it might be the first chapter that I'm looking for. This is our first Corinthians one and 20. It says, where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Have not the most high made foolish the wisdom of this world, right? going to seminary schools, becoming a theologian, so forth and so on. Come on, man. For after that, in the wisdom of the Most High, the world by wisdom knew not the Most High. It pleased the Most High by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe, man. Right? And we're looked at fools being out there 
in the, uh, on the highways and hedges. Instant in season, not a season, right? Being called snow dummies, you know? So forth and so on, man. But I wasn't looking for that one, but that one was 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 hot too. It says, um, I think it is the fourth chapter. Oh, okay, it's still the first chapter. Oh, I just couldn't just continue to read down, continue to read down. Um, let's jump down to verse 25. It says, because the foolishness of the Most High is wiser than men and the weakness of the Most High is stronger than men. Right. Because the Lord said. He said this. Right. It's first Corinthians three and 18. It says, let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise, man. You got to be reborn. You got to forget all that madness that you learn. Right. And see these people that spent these uh, thousands of dollars in these theologian schools and these seminaries. They not going to do that. You know, unless unless the Lord put the spirit on them, too. Right. Because. These people decide to go to school to become this. Well, what does the scripture say? This is uh, St. John 15 and 16. It says, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you, right? And ordained you. That's the key thing. Now, you got this, right? You type in seminary school. A seminary school of the uh, theology Theological seminary or divinity school is an educational institution for edu for educating students in scripture, theology, generally to prepare them for ordination to serve as clergy in academics or in Christian ministry. So who is these goddamn people that can ordain you? The Lord said he does that, man. Not no institution, not no damn seminary school. Right. It says what is taught in seminary school. Seminary degree programs typically typically include courses in uh, liturgy, liturgy, ministry, biblical studies, and theology. And some courses require field work, practical practical theology, religion, culture, and society, so forth and so on, man. And it's talking about you got to spend eight years in order to learn it to be ordained and all that. Well, no, man, that ain't what the Lord said, right? He said. Ye have, this is John 15, 16, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he may give it. You see? And here it is. They're ordaining and choosing people to go and do that. No, man. You see? The apostles uh, uh, back then, they couldn't choose and, oh, well, this, oh, you get it and you get No. It's of the most high who gets it or not, man. The same thing today. The apostles and elders of Great Mill, so they didn't point out and choose who was to get it and who wasn't, right? Because ultimately that decision came from Yahweh, our father, right? And Yahweh Shai even said that. Let's get that. I believe it's John 17. It's St. John 17 and 6. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. So this all ordained of Yahweh, man. In the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. You can't learn this in no fucking seminary school. Paying, paying, paying somebody to ordain you to be a minister of the scriptures. There's an example of that, man. Right? This is um Acts eight and seventeen. Then laid they their hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. Talking about the uh, the apostles, right? And when Simon saw that through laying on of the apostles hands the holy spirit was given he offered them money saying give me also this power that on whomsoever i lay hands he may receive the holy spirit but peter said unto him thy money perish with thee 
because thou hast thought that the gift of the Most High may be purchased with money. And that's these people mindset that go to these churches, that go to these theologian schools, that go to these seminary schools, man. It's not purchased with money. You see, it's given for, it says a man cannot receive nothing except to be given to him from heaven. Every good gift coming from the father of lights above. <laughs> right. Verse 21. Thou has neither part nor lot in this matter for thy heart is not right in the sight of the most high. You know, so from there. Let's go back. This first Corinthians one and twenty five. It says, because the foolishness of the most high is wiser than men and the weakness of the most high is stronger than men. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that many wise men, Slaki, for ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. So the Lord didn't go get the T.D. Jakes. He didn't go get the uh, 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 the Dwayne Johnsons, the Rocks, right? He didn't go get the uh, 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 the Reverend Al Sharptons. He didn't go get them. Verse 27. But the Most High has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. Yeah, those babes, those ones that were untaught and all unlearned, right? Those guys that was looked at as insignificant. Those guys that were looked at as bums, right? It says, but the Most High have chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And the Most High have chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. And base things, right, those bums of the world and things which are despised have the most high chosen. Yea, and these things which are not to bring to naught things that are, that no flesh should glory in his presence. But of him are ye in Hamashiach Yahweh who of the most high has made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. So Yahweh Shai is our redemption, our sanctification, our righteousness, and our wisdom. You see? So it's through Yahweh Shai that we have this knowledge, man. That's why this is written, you know? Let's get this. Um, how is it written? How is it written? Is Isaiah 29 and 10. It says, For Yahweh Basham Yahweh hath poured upon you the spirit of deep sleep and have closed your eyes. The prophets and your rulers, the seers, hath he covered, which is why T.D. Jakes and, and, and Bishop Nate, yeah, I'm going to clue him in it, you know, and, and, and the rest of these cats, they can't see it, man. Verse 11, And the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed which men deliver to one that is learned, right? Meaning uh, 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 we could apply that to the wicked scribes and Pharisees that were doing Yahweh Shah's time. They were learned, but Yahweh Shah told them what? They err not knowing the scriptures saying, read this, I pray thee. And he said, I cannot for it is sealed. You got people in the uh, 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 pastors, right? Reverence, people with theology degrees. So I'm like, yeah, certain parts of revelation, all oh, that book is still sealed. Right. But you're supposed to be learned. Verse 12. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, read this, I pray thee. And he said, I am not learned. So it's only through the spirit of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah do we know these things, man. Because Yahweh Shah was worthy to uh, 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 to break the seals of the book according to Revelation, the fifth chapter. Right. And those men who were chosen to understand this word has it. And everybody else were blinded, like it's written in Romans 11 and 7. The election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. So Lord willing, man, we continue in this word, man. That makes us of that number, man. He that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. So we got to pray unto the Lord that he direct our way in truth as is written in the book of Sirach. But Lord willing, that's all I had, man. I, I hope this lesson was edifying, you know, just straight to the point. You know, it, it, the truth ain't in these uh, uh, so-called theologian schools, these seminaries, you know. So all praise to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shah, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel and truth and the sincerity. Shalom.